It's nice to have you back here in my new video game. Today let's talk about Instamic Pro Plus, which I've just purchased two units from the official website. This is the Instamic Pro Plus, and this is the first generation Instamic Pro, which I purchased last year. I think the Instamic Pro Plus really revolutionized the way we enjoy the audio recording on board for our crew team. And I'm just so excited to enjoy the latest new features, such as the 32-bit flow recording with timecode from internal or from external clock source. I have to share with you a lot about the latest information and my personal thoughts on Instamic Pro Plus. My name is Yuxin Guo. My YouTube channel is dedicated to 360 photography, video accessories, and some cutting technology. Actually, the Instamic Pro Plus is a piece of cutting technology in our accessories during our video recording. Now let's get started and dive very deep inside this Instamic Pro Plus, the little beast in your palm size. The first thing first, I just want to share with you the unboxing and see what has been changed, what has been included inside the package. So actually they look pretty the same from the first generation of Pro and Pro Plus, just with some minor differences on the package and also with some great new improvement on the design and the accessories for the Instamic Pro Plus. So inside the box, it has pretty the same, it is pretty identical with uh, the previous uh, Instamic Pro. It's a letter from the Instamic team. And the first time you got your Instamic quick setup guide. Yeah, it's, it's, it's very well written and uh, inside you can see the, how to get started, uh, how to get the best of your Instamic with the Instamic remote app on iOS and Android. So I highly recommend you install the app, considering uh, with the help of the Instamic app, you can unlock all the features of this very powerful tiny little microphone. Also the recorder, actually. A micro USB charging cable, a magnetic clip, snap into any surface, considering it has uh, a rubber on the back. There's a, one of them that has a Velcro on the back. This is what I love about Instamic. Also in this Instamic Pro Plus, you also have some brand new action camera mount, but I didn't purchase designed to be fully compatible with the, the dock, the docking mechanism. And also it's compatible with the Instamic Pro, the first generation as well. I don't want to spend too much time on the box. So on the box, you can see the real difference in the, on the package. And actually you can see uh, with the Instamic Pro, there's only green LEDs with uh, Instamic Pro Plus. It's a multi-color LED and 32-bit float recording, internal recording. This, this is pretty over, overwhelming. It also made for the, the iPhone. And an another improvement of this Instamic Pro Plus is a magnet design. It has a rubber case. It has a rubber on the surface, so it snaps a lot better compared with the first generation. So coming next, let's talk about the application the latest addition of the Instamic remote on Android on iOS platform because the application really revolutionized the way we record a video, especially on the iOS platform. So coming next, I will use my uh, old iPhone 7 Plus as an example to share with you the latest and the greatest feature of the Instamic remote and also we can see a lot of great new design before we get started about application explanation, I do want to share with you a screen capture of my Android and iPhone. You can see they do have similar design, but with different features. Actually, on the iOS platform, you can unlock all the great features of the Instamic Pro Plus because there's a brand new uh, in-app, the wireless microphone. You can record a video with your phone, record audio with your Instamic, and automatically merge them together to form a great high quality wireless microphone with Instamic on your coat. Now let's open the Instamic Pro Plus one by one by long press the buttons on the top where the buttons have been redesigned have a better feedback once you have touched on, on the buttons. So this is another great new improvement of the Instamic Pro Plus. It does take a few seconds to fully power on. Once they power on you can see all the green LED lights has been Turn on. There's audio recorder with onboard recording have an up to 196 kilohertz at 24 bit depth. But once you have recording 32 bit float, you don't have to worry about dynamic range. It will record at a 48k sample rate with 32 bit float, which has tremendously high dynamic range. And also the second is a wireless microphone with video audio recording and sound quality has been up to 48 kilohertz sample rate. And also there's a hand-free profile with a Bluetooth microphone. You can wirelessly pair with your phone, 
your Insta360 cameras or some other devices that has up to 16K hertz sample rate. The quality is quite limited, but still way better compared with the AirPod Pro and some other TWS, the true wireless earbuds. Okay, first let's go to audio recorder and see. Now you can see on the device menu list, I have I have already seen the list, and uh, I have named my units as uh, Lucas and Josh. Normally I use people's name to name it as because it looks pretty the same, pretty similar. Considering that I have a technical sync E in my stu YouTube studio, the technical sync E is it's now broadcasting time code into the air where the the bones of the Instamic Pro Plus have received exactly the same time code externally with EXT time code. And you can also use the multi control menus on the bottom to sync all of the buttons. Multi connect all of them at once and click on time code then you can sync all the units at once. Now you can see they have exactly the same time code, right? With a technical sync. It will automatically receive the time code in the air and sync with the high quality external time code and maintain this high precision with a very high precision oscillator inside this tiny little size. Trigger all the instant mic to record at the same time with different individual settings. On the Lucas, now it records 32-bit float at 4 dB audio gain, while on the other side with a minus 20 dB. It doesn't matter. And you can also long press to stop recording. So you can multi-control multiple Instamic Pro Plus with your control panel with multi-control protocol. This is a major breakthrough. And you can also you can lock and unlock by long press lock button. And now let's go to the Josh and see what's inside the settings or the features in the single unit of the Instamic Pro Plus. Here you can see you can ready to record, hit the record button. Now the Josh it start recording at the same time. And now you can see the LED lines indicates the volume, the real time volume of this microphone. And you can also stop recording at that moment. And if you're not satisfied with the light, you can also turn it off or turn back on. And you can lock one unit of Instamic Pro Plus during the multi control. And now you can just not stop recording and you just cannot stop recording accidentally. So this is a great safety recording feature. Unlock and stop recording. You can also monitor the device. Okay, and go back and let's see Lucas. Go to Lucas and go to settings. Now we can see the settings on Instamic Pro Plus on this unit. Uh, now we can record a 32-bit float mono, 24-bit mono, and 22-bit dual mono with different settings, minus 9, minus 15, minus 24, 24-bit uh, stereo, and 24-bit mid-side. For mid-side, I do have one more thing to share with you that uh, in the design of the Instamic Pro Plus, there are altogether four microphones in the middle that have a super catroid pick on pattern, while on the side, the left and right, there are two extra microphones that can pick up the sound from the side. So with the mid-side uh, audio format, that is a very unique audio format that is very welcome in the in the field of the cinematography. One of the tracks has the super catroid pick and patterns from the four microphones on the front, while on the second track, you can record a side from the left and right microphones. And one should notice that when you're recording 24-bit mono, the maximum sample rate is 96 kilohertz. That is a premium audio quality from the tiny little microphone. But if you do want to have the, the best dynamic range, just place at a 32-bit float. That will give you a lot of uh, places in the post process on your audio clip. And you can also select audio LED off once you start recording, the LED was turned off uh, by a few seconds, that it, that it can be invisible in your clothes. And now there are a brand new equalizer right inside the app. You can fine tune in the different different section, you can adjust the frequencies as an internal equalizer. That will save you a lot of time in the post process. So sometimes if you just recording voiceover, you can even skip the part of the post process if you set the equalizer at a proper values. The maximum capacity for this unit is now expanded to 16 gigabytes. And also you can upgrade the firmware with the app. Now the app is 2.0. Second, let's go to this wireless microphone with video audio recording at 
48 kilohertz. Go to the wireless microphone mode for the InstaMic Pro Plus, and also this is an exclusive feature on the Pro Plus as well as the iOS platform. Now you can record video and audio separately and merge automatically inside the app with up to 48 kHz sample rate. Now you can only connect to one of the InstaMic Pro Plus in this mode because now this InstaMic Pro Plus works as a Bluetooth wireless microphone with high audio quality. Then tap to connect and now you can see there's a new buttons in the middle where you can see this is a, a, this is one. You can record a video or an audio only, or you can search see the files in the backstage. As you can see right now, I'll take my InstaMic Pro Plus outside and try to vlog with InstaMic together with my iPhone 7 Plus. I also share the screen capture with you now in the in-app wireless and microphone mode for the InstaMic Pro Plus. And also I have used external time code with my technical sync E because I am now recording a behind the scenes shot with my Sony ZV E10 together with the technical sync E. Okay, now hit ready to record. So by the first moment, actually the InstaMic will enter in the monitory mode. And here you can see uh, I'm with front facing camera for the iPhone 7, the maximum resolution is 2K and frame rate would record up to uh, 30, but I normally I use 25. The temperature outside now, I do hope the InstaMic you should add the auto white balance because that works that's great. Now it's sunlight, the car temperature should be around 5,800 K. You can see this is what I'm looking right now. Here I'm talking to the InstaMic. I'm talking to InstaMic. Okay, now what you are hearing at this moment is the sound capture from InstaMic Pro Plus. I'm now vlogging with, I'm actually now vlogging with my iPhone 7 Plus with a wireless microphone mode for the InstaMic Pro Plus. So how does the sound look like? And you can also snap the InstaMic to your coat, uh, inside, outside, whatever you want with the magnet accessory that come in the package. Okay, now I'll give a second try because I want to use the rear camera to record 4K video with my iPhone 7. Switch to back to the rear camera. Yeah, this is where I'm recording my video at this moment. This is my camera, the E10. And I can also adjust the, the focal point. You see that? And adjust the exposure, place in that place. Tap it again, select the exposure on the basis of this camera. And the resolution could record up to 4K, and I want to use 25 uh, frame rate. And I will use shot in horizontally, just like that. Okay, so what is how this is how it looks like when you record in horizontally with the InstaMic the remote app. And coming next, I will hit recording. Now the camera is recording at 4K 25 FPS, and what I'm hearing right now comes from the <laughs> come from this InstaMic Pro Plus in my hand. At the same time, you can also hear in the monitor sound coming from this phone. If you are uh, actually wear a Bluetooth earbuds or the cable connects your phone, your earbuds to your phone, you can actually monitor the sound on the go. So this is another great feature for this InstaMic remote app. It definitely opened a brand new way for us to capture video and audio separately and give us a seamless user experience that can merge in backstage. Uh, it will take some time to export it, as you can find on the bottom left. It's exporting the footage into the uh, iOS folders. So after a little while, we should see the final result. Okay, coming next, let's talk about the hands-free profile to use the InstaMic as a Bluetooth wireless microphone together with the One X2 and some other Insta360 cameras. You can also use pair with your phone to do some live streaming with 16 Hz sample rate. So you do have some precautions. I do, I do hope that InstaMic should improve the experience of this uh, live streaming. Go to the Bluetooth settings, unpair, forget, and refresh and repair the InstaMic unpair and repair again. It's, it's a little bit complicated. So we have to disconnect and pair once again. Yeah, a little bit weird. I think experience not that great. And that, now we finally start a streaming. Now it's streaming and it works as 
hands-free profile. So coming next, I want to pair with my One X2 and capture some sample footage with the setup. Okay, finally, AirPods connected with Josh because the Josh could only connect to one device at a time. I have to close my phone to turn off the Bluetooth on my phone. Okay, so, so far so good. Coming next, let's take a video capture with my next two invisible selfie stick and see what we can get from this tiny little setup. The sound you are hearing right now comes from the Instamic Pro Plus. It's really sunny. I'm here to take a test shot, use Bluetooth hand-free profile to get connected with my One X2 and Instamic Pro Plus and test out whether the sound is great, uh, the video audio syncing is just right. The weather is just nice and I'm enjoying the sunny days uh, walking around near my house. So just give you a test shot and I just want to give a shout out for the Instamic Pro Plus for the team that you have really did a great job once again. Number three, how about the audio quality of the Instamic Pro Plus? Actually, you have already learned the quality of this audio because in my previous YouTube video, I have completely recorded the whole session with my Instamic Pro Plus. I do plan to use Instamic Pro Plus as my main audio recorder in my YouTube studio for high quality audio capture. And later, I will take out Instamic Pro Plus onto the road for motorcycling. And also, we share with you some real-world examples that have been captured with Instamic Pro Plus. What you're hearing right now is uh, audio input from the DJI Pocket 2. And I also mount the Instamic Pro Plus inside my helmet. You can see that I'm riding my uh, motorcycle home and it during this ride. Uh, I want to give you a side-by-side -side comparison in between the Instamic Pro Plus and some other microphones that you just cannot mount inside your helmet. You know what? When you can mount a microphone inside your helmet, uh, it prevents all the wind from pulling, uh, from ruining your audio. That is the Mac Pro Plus, considering its size, uh, it's quite flexible in our content creation. You, you can put it literally everywhere. But for the other microphones, I think they are more like vulnerable. They are vulnerable to the frictions from the coals or they just cannot prevent the wind from ruining your shots. Uh, even though you can put some cat, the dead cat, but that is not so much elegant, especially for the action. I believe the Instamic Pro Plus definitely provides a brand new way to record a video and also at the same time with very high audio quality, uh, like the 32-bit float, internal recording, wireless sync, with the external clock or the internal clock. I think the Instamic Pro Plus definitely opened a brand, brand new way to capture my audio uh, in my future content creation. With conventional microphones like the Lavalier microphone or some other uh, wireless microphone like Rode Wireless Go, you can get equivalent high quality. You know, Instamic Pro Plus also has excellent sound pressure level this time. It's much higher compared with conventional wireless microphone system. So, yeah, I think uh, the Instamic Pro Plus is really a, a monster, a tiny monster. Uh, but that is not to say you, you should always record a video audio with the Instamic Pro Plus. The wireless microphone system definitely are definitely great for most of the scenarios. But if you are motorcycling, uh, you want to capture your shot with the 1R, with the video, and also want to have a relatively high audio quality, I mean, as much high quality as possible. I think the Mic Pro Plus is the best choice at this moment. Actually, I do have the previous edition of the Instamic Pro that only have a 24-bit internal recording, but considering it has dual mono recording mode, it can also give you amazing sound quality. But starting to be float is definitely great for the lazy guys like you and me, you know, <laughs> yeah. Okay, what you are hearing right now is an audio capture from Instamic Pro Plus, a tiny monster in your palm. I mean, it has a 32-bit float into recording, as well as six microphones built inside this tiny little camera, also waterproof, dustproof, 
it's just so powerful. I mean, the first time when I saw the Acer Mic Pro Plus feature introduction, I know I have to get them. I actually, I bought two of them, not one, but two. Because with multiple Acer Mic Pro Plus, you can create something really unique. Okay, to wrap up the Instant Mic Pro Plus, I think it's definitely a tiny, mighty recorder, a microphone. It's such a small form factor. It's just breathtaking with its unique 32 bit float recording and some great design on the Instant Mic Remote app as well. So I think this is maybe perhaps the, by far the smallest pocketable 32 bit float internal recorder with time code actually. How do you like Instant Mic Pro Plus? Please leave down in the comments below. And I also want to hear your suggestions on Instant Mic Pro Plus for some additional features in the future. So if you are one of the Insta360 guys, please uh, take a deep investigation on the Insta Mic Pro Plus and see if whether you can integrate these amazing devices in your workflow to just unleash a brand new world of your audio quality. And if you found this video helpful, please don't forget to sum up subscribe and hit notification bell yeah i should turn off the led with the app you see that this is my instant mic and stay safe see you next time bye